What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. Today, we have made another trip outside of Delaware. We're up in Pennsylvania. Gonna be doing some four wheeling, some dirt biking, as you guys have probably already seen in the intro right there. And uh, we're also gonna be doing some fishing. We're off the Susquehanna River today. We're gonna be fishing a creek off of that river. It holds smallmouth, it holds largemouth, creek chubs, brown trout, all kinds of different fish in there. We have the potential for a lot of different species out here today. So let's get right down to the creek. I think we're gonna be taking out the kayaks. So uh, tag along with us here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave me a thumbs up down below, drop a comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And we'll see you down at the water. All right, folks, let's get after it here today. Got the old kayak with no seat. Maddie's up there in the same exact one. These are not our kayaks, as you guys know. Not the same color, not the same make, but we are out here on vacation, out in PA, and we're gonna be doing some creek fishing today. We got potential for trout. We got uh, rock bass in here. We got creek chubs, white suckers, all kinds of stuff up in here. Smallmouth, should be a fun day out here. I actually came down last night and forgot my batteries for the camera, of course, but I caught seven fish in a short amount of time and I saw a giant carp swimming like right up here shallow. So definitely a wide variety of fish and this is some fun fishing that we like to do while we're out here on vacation. This is off of the Susquehanna River. So if you guys are familiar with that, you know the kind of the deal with fishing like this. Favorite all time creek bait is the rooster tail. Eat them an ounce and that's what we're gonna be using today. That's what worked for me here before. That's what works just about every year. Keeping a pretty fast retrieve so I can keep this thing up and out of the rocks. It's pretty shallow in here. Oh, did you see that? Look, he's right behind it. He's got it. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool little smally right there but he hit it three times he came shooting out from behind a rock and you could just see the shadow of him and then he came fully into the light and just attacked it little baby smally right there actually bigger than the ones we were catching last night believe it or not there he goes beautiful release but that was just so cool how we saw him eat that in the clear water right there first fish of the day he came right out from right there hiding behind a rock that was super cool. This guy hit as soon as it hit the water right here. Let's bring the lure into the light, see if we can see what's behind it. Oh, yep, another baby smallie, a little bigger than the last one. But he definitely saw me because he turned away as soon as he came into the light. Let's see how many species we can get today, guys, because we should be able to get quite a few. I'm hoping for at least three or four possibly even five. Literally guys, on more than half of your cast, there's gonna be a, at least one fish following your lure. That's just how thick the fish are up in here right now. What is that? That's nicer. Smally. There we go. We've already, between the two of us, we've already got three smallies. That one's a little bit better right there. These fish, while they are super aggressive, they are pretty tricky to actually hook because you'll get bites nine times out of 10 on your cast, but actually hooking one like I just did right there is pretty tricky. But this guy actually ate it. Let's see if we got our second species. Nope, another smolly. that's cool. Sweet. Definitely a great year for the smallies in here. They've definitely had a good spawn. Because there's a lot of little guys around. Show them to you real quick. Look at them. Beautiful. About a five incher. There he goes. Hello, Mr. Tree. I've never seen this many smallies in this creek before, and we fished this for years and years. The majority of our fish in here are going to be pretty small, but there are some decent sized fish in here. I got another one. This one's small. What do we got? A tiny smallie. <laughs> Look at this thing, guys. This might be the smallest smallmouth I've ever caught, but look how aggressive they are from a young age. I mean, this thing probably is a baby this year. 
and they're already hitting lures. Look at them. There he goes. Third smallie already. But while we are going to catch a lot of small fish, there are some big fish in here too. There's catfish that come up in here that are pretty good size. And there's also brown trout in here that I, I've only caught one out of here ever, but there are some big ones. We've seen schools of them just swimming along, like three to four pound trout. And uh, hooking one of those would be pretty epic, so you never know. It's actually a pretty windy day out here, but being down in this creek, literally below the land, we're completely protected from it. There's one right as soon as I hit the water. What do we got here? This is not a smallie. Wow, look at that red breast sunfish. Holy cow. That was not a species I was expecting to catch. But look at the colors on this thing. That is just beautiful. That's how they get the name red breast. Look at that right there, guys. That is unbelievably cool looking. And the tail, it's like blue, red, slight hint of orange and white. Just a super, super beautiful fish. Back down he goes. These fish are super aggressive this year out here. Oh, he took it right there. What do we got? Fourth smallie already. That's more than I caught the entire year last year. And we're only like 15 minutes into our trip. Just crushing the spinner, man. Whew. This is some fun fishing. I mean, we're not catching giants, but we're catching a lot. And we're getting on some species we don't normally get on. Mm. Hammered. Oh, that is a new species. Look at this one. Big old green sunfish. Man, that is the heaviest fish I've caught this whole trip. Look at the stomach on this guy. And look at the colors on him too. Another beautiful fish. Sorry, buddy. My apologies. Good sir, but look at him, guys. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. Third species, sixth fish. Right there, I saw him eat it. He came out from under a leaf. Man, oh man. So, oh, what happened? I thought he broke me off somehow, but it was just another smallie, I think. Either that or a rock bass. But the way he got off felt really weird. Huh? From the ducks? Is that a fish? No. He bit it. Oh, he hit it again. <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. Another smallie got off right there, but you guys saw that. I felt a few taps and then I just saw him come up and ambush it right at the boat. Craziness. Five smallies landed already. Hammered. This place is just loaded right now. Just loaded. What is this? That's a better smallmouth, and there's another one chasing him. Crazy, man. Just crazy. Smallie number six right there. Back down he goes. Even those little ones are such fighters. You got a chub? The chubs are the ones that are just super tricky to land. Because they'll just nip at it, turn away, nip at it, turn away. And then if you're lucky, they'll finally take it. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Maddie's got a nice smallie there, man. For a little creek like this, that is a good one he's got. I mean, it's not like a giant giant, but for out of here, that is not bad. Anything you can get out of here like over a pound is good and that's a good one. This is normally where the bigger smallies hang out. My best piece of advice when you're fishing a little creek like this is always let the current carry you downstream and then cast downstream and pull your lure upstream. Because if you go the other way, your lure is gonna go way too fast and you're not gonna have that good action on there. And that really comes into effect when the current 
is super strong, which it is not right here, but on a lot of parts that we're gonna be fishing here on this trip, that's something that's definitely gonna come into play. Look at that. Look at that, look at him. You guys see the sunfish? <laughs> that is hilarious. That wind is really, really picking up. It seems like a storm might be on the horizon. I know there's like a 50% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon, so we might have to make a little quick exit out of here. But I think that's why they're biting so good is because it's right before a storm. We got another fish on. Might be the smallest one yet. That is just a baby smallmouth, and I cannot believe how aggressive they are at that size. You want to talk about micro fishing? That is micro fishing, and it's actually pretty fun. Don't get me wrong, though, I love catching my big fish. I'm surprised we haven't landed any creek chubs yet. Got a few last night, and Maddie's got a few today. He's literally using the same exact bait that I am. And I have not even seen one follow mine. Only a matter of time, though. They seem to like that quicker moving water as opposed to this uh, pretty calm, murky water that we're in right now. They like the clear, fast moving rapids. This is typically the deepest part we're gonna fish on this whole creek. And it's only about well, about two feet right there, but along here, there's some holes where it's like four to five. What is that? Maddie's got a good smallie on over there. Pulling a little drag, huh? He followed it up. Don't break me on the rock. Don't break me on the rock. We gotta see this one, guys. That thing is peeling drag. I can see him right there. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah, watch the rock. I know, he took me on there once. That is a nice one. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> you guys see him over there? Beautiful. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. I literally saw him come up behind That is so cool. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> Grabbing his tail. Nice. That's the best one easily all trip so far. Wow. Look at that smallie. Out of this tiny creek. Beauty. There he is, guys. That's Maddie's best smallmouth bass of this trip right here. And for this little creek, that is a great one right off of the Susquehanna River a little creek off of it and got a beauty of a smallie right there great job all right I'll do the honors of the release there he goes nice anywhere else that's you know a solid smallie but for something out of here on this ultra light gear and stuff that we're using that's pretty pretty epic right there all right we're coming up to a spot where the water gets a little bit fast moving and shallow and rocky and everything but we're gonna go down there in our kayaks should be a fun little ride then we're just gonna fish this next hole up here then we'll come back on this way and maybe do a little bit of wading down to the other side of the creek from where we launched but this should be fun right here in the rapids hopefully we don't flip we're not used to water like this back home in delaware holy crap <laughs> This is pretty fun right here. Oh yeah. Don't recommend doing this if you're by yourself, but if you're with somebody, and if you know how to swim and everything, go for it. Come on. Oh yeah, would honestly probably just be easier to walk it down, but it's more fun this way. <sighs> Trying to dodge the rocks and everything. Water's actually down pretty good. You can see that pipe over there. That's normally where the water is kind of just resting at the bottom of that pipe. But it's 
been a little bit of a drought up here lately. All right, which way do we want to go? We got one little path down right there and one on the left here. I think, huh, they both don't look too good. Maybe the right. Yeah, let's rock with this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to walk it right here to be honest because there's literally no way that I can just keep scooting myself down that thing. Oh. Cause this is how shallow it is. It's like literally half a foot deep tops. Down the river we go. All right, now we're back into some water that we can actually sit in and hopefully catch fish in. Hopefully it's worth it. Catching fish is fun, obviously, but it's the stuff like that that really kind of completes the experience. Just getting out and going to new types of waters and having fun stuff like that that you can do while you're out on the water. I thought he was gonna break you off on those rocks. There we go, we got one. Tenth fish of the outing. New species, there he is. I knew it was only a matter of time before the creek chub showed up. These things are like a cross between a carp and a trout and a catfish. Not literally, but that's what they remind me of. I mean, look at that guy right there. Super little cool guy. I mean, look at the mouth. Like a catfish kind of mouth, carp kind of feel to them and uh kind of a trout attitude they kind of act like trout in the water looks like there's one more hole we can fish down on this end right off of those rapids but i don't really feel like kayaking down them and bringing it back up so we're gonna ditch our kayaks leave them right here then we're gonna wade down there a little bit see if we can't get a couple more big old crawfish just shot out from under my foot right there there is just so many of those crawfish up in this creek it's insane man this is where there could be some trout right here they love sitting in stuff like this that is some fast moving water and you got to find those little pools off to the side is that rain yeah it's starting to rain on us 12 seconds later quick update we walked down there like we said we were gonna do we had a couple bites my camera battery died i started walking back up the rapids here and right as i'm doing that it just lets loose with rain out here. So I did see a couple dark clouds and I knew there was a potential for this, but it's just pouring right out here. We're under the bridge, obviously, so we're not getting wet, but it's uh, it's really coming down over there as you can probably see, hopefully. But uh, we're still catching fish. Maddie's got one right over there, or he had one. And hopefully the rain just passes through and we can continue this little trip because I do want to go down there. I think I had a trout bite this thing. Over here, we've got like blue skies up there, but obviously there's a giant dark cloud that's descended upon us over here. Look, the chickens are running like crazy back to the barn. The chick, the roosters were just like booking it back inside their little house thing. Thank God for this bridge. Look at it coming down right now, guys. It is pouring more than ever. Just like that, guys, the rain has stopped. About a 10 minute shower right there. Hopefully it stays away, but we got sunny blue skies over here and the only stuff coming down is just dumping off of the bridge. So I uh, guess we'll park our kayaks again and give this another shot. Hopefully we can hook whatever fish was down there biting up on the bait. Back you go, let's try this again. I'm really hoping that rain doesn't continue throughout our stay here because it muddies up the creek super easily and then your fishing completely sucks because they're relying clearly on sight to find these flashy spinners and anything else you throw really. So kind of need that water to be clear. A little shower like that shouldn't do too much, but if it dumps for like an hour or two, it can really mess up the fishing. Whew. Obviously the rain did not muddy it up right here. Just look how clear this water is. Absolutely insane. That's why you got to be super stealthy when you're fishing around a place like this because it's just ridiculously clear and those fish can see you from super far away. There's got to be at least a couple of fish in here. I just got hammered. There he is. Oh, 
There he is. Got him. Chub. Chub? Well, we'll be able to see him in that water. No, it's a large mouth. Is it? No, it is a chub. It really looked he really looked like a largy in the water. Let's show him off in that sunlight right there. These chubs kind of have a lateral line like a largy. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, but they are fragile fish, so you always want to get them back very quickly once you catch them. Make sure we'll get this out of here nice and quick, and we'll give them a nice little clear water release. There he is right on the bottom right there. They look so cool. See that? He just went right under this rock and a huge crawfish just popped out. <laughs> he ran into him and said, no thanks. Definitely. Wow. Holy dude, crap. He's uh, after me. <laughs> oh, dude, he's actually chasing me. They don't play around in here. Yeah, I saw them. I think they're chubs. Big chubbis. <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> Look at that. Is that Smalley? Oh, I'm fighting the Lunker guys in this clear water. Holy cow. Giant. PB. Oh, let's go. Nine pounder. Possibly ten. Possibly ten. Double digit Smalley guys. Absolute behemoth. See you later, bud. Made it back to the Yaks right here. Kind of ran out of real estate down there at the other end of the creek, but we're going to start heading back and fish a little bit on the way back, try to get a couple more in the boat. We're going to slide Matty his kayak because he's in some thick mud and he doesn't really want to keep walking in it. So uh, there you go, buddy. First class delivery. Let's see if we can't yank a couple more out of here. <laughs> Better delivery than Amazon. Ah, uh, now comes the fun part of going back up this mess right here. It's hard enough getting down, but going up, it's gonna be another story. Oh, uh. Bro, there's so many crawfish just shooting out from under these rocks as I step through here. I really wanna throw some kind of uh, like a Ned rig later on, which I've never even used once in my life. But I did bring some Guggen Ned rigs along to imitate a crawfish, so I might try that in a future episode here later on today. Holy crap, I almost went down. You wanna talk about an ideal place for a trout to sit? Look at this right here, we got the current coming down, and then we got this rock right here which is stopping a lot of that current, and it's just going to both sides, but right in the middle here, we got cover and we got a calm little pool. And uh, I'll have to come back and try that in a couple of days because obviously we're kind of screwing up the spot right now by walking through it, but it should be a place that'll hold fish later on. Now what the heck is going on with weather like this? You would have never have known it was just downpouring a half hour ago, but now it's hot and sunny and pretty nice out. Got him. Ooh. Another species, another beautiful fish. This one's a pumpkin seed. Fifth species of the day, I think. Or is that the fourth? I know we've got smallmouth, creek chub, red breast, green sunfish, and this is the fifth, a pumpkin seed. Wow, just some outstanding colors. On that fish. There he goes, I could not hold him. Cannot hold a fish to save my life, but you guys saw how amazing that thing was looking right there, pumpkin seed. Didn't even think of catching that one when I was rattling off all the species we might be able to catch earlier. Definitely got another storm coming right up here on our left. Good thing Maddie pointed that out to me a minute ago because I probably would have stayed out here a little bit longer. But we're gonna paddle back as fast as we can so we don't get stuck out in another one of those rain and lightning and thunder events and uh, we're gonna wrap this video up so guys if you did enjoy the video out here make sure you give me a thumbs up drop a comment down below and most importantly please hit that subscribe button so you help us grow our channel it costs nothing to you just helps you stay in the loop and 
get updated when we get a video if you push that notification bell which you need to do as well thanks so much for watching today guys both of us really do appreciate it we had a lot of fun out here caught a lot of great fish some awesome micro fishing and multi-species fishing out here so it's a pretty good day but we'll be filming some more videos out here again soon so stay tuned for that and we'll see you on the next one Say